In India, my office frequently receives information that marginalized minority communities are subjected to violence and discrimination. Muslims are often the target of such attacks, most recently in Haryana and Guru Gram in northern India. In Manipur, other communities have also been facing violence and insecurity since May. While Hindutva fanatics praise Modi as a Vishwa Guru, which translating to global mentor, the international community has begun to take note of the atrocities occurring in the backyard of the world's largest democracy, India. Addressing the issue of violence in Haryana and Manipur, UN Human Rights Chief Volker Turk emphasized the need for India to intensify its efforts in safeguarding the rights of all minorities. During the 54th session of the UN Human Rights Council, Turk provided a customary update on the global human rights situation spanning regions from the Sahel to Pakistan and India to Peru. Concerning India, Turk expressed worries about the frequent reports received by his office citing instances of violence and discrimination against marginalized communities. Specifically, he highlighted that Muslims recently in Haryana and Gurugram often become targets of such attacks. The unrest in Haryana, stemming from a VHP procession, resulted in seven deaths and 200 injuries during clashes lasting over a week. Turning to Manipur, Turk noted the persistent ethnic violence in the northeastern state over the past four months. More than 200 casualties and the displacement of over 70,000 people have been reported. Concluding his remarks on India, Turk underscored the imperative to redouble efforts in upholding the rights of all minorities. He called for a forthright approach to address intolerance, hate speech, religious extremism, and discrimination. It is not only the UN human rights chief, but also world leaders, like the President of America, Joe Biden. The President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The Crown Prince, and the Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, and many leaders who attended the G20 summit, in India. They have politely condemned the growing Islamophobia in India, and issued indirect warnings regarding the treatment of Muslims.